now. It's likely to be a record-setting day of browsing and buying. According to Adobe, Americans are expected to spend $7.8 billion on Cyber Monday. But retailers with physical stores still have an edge. People actually buying something online um, is 28% more likely to happen if the online retailer also has a brick and mortar store. Consumers are blurring the lines between online and offline shopping. Nearly half saying they plan to pick up their digital purchases at a store this year, according to Deloitte. Retailers are competing to expand online ordering, curbside pickup, and same day availability to accommodate customers who want the instant gratification of shopping in store and the convenience of buying online. But the cyber shopping experience is changing too. Alexa, what are your deals? With more customers using voice assistants and smartphones. Mobile is really taking off. In fact, Almost 50% of visits to online retail sites actually come from smartphones. Keep your personal information safe by updating devices with the latest security patches. And while it may be tempting to have the same login across retailers... If any one of those sites gets broken into, suddenly your information is out there for all of them. Instead, use a different strong password on each site. And don't ignore those browser security pop-ups. Heed the warnings that our systems deliver. So this record Cyber Monday spending is good for retailers, not for hackers. Liz McLaughlin, NBC News. So here's a big question. Are you guilty of shopping at work? Well, apparently a lot of us do, but the golden hours for online sales will actually be tonight after 10 p.m. That's when Americans finally buy the stuff they've been eyeing since Thanksgiving. An estimated $1.2 billion of sales are expected in those few hours alone. In fact, that's more than a whole day of retail sales on other days of the year. And that's really impressive. And for more deals on how to avoid being scammed, just head to WTHR.com.